the cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to uh, do a quick video on uh, basically what this woman said, you know, which um, she said that when she was young, she remembered seeing her grandfather, but she said her father's father, which will be her grandfather, right? She said she remembers seeing her her um, grandfather, you know, gathering some dogs, putting them on a leash, and then having these dogs hunt down, you know, so-called Negroes, okay? And this could have been, I don't know, maybe 90 years ago. And one of the biggest hypocritical statements that an uh, Edomite can say is, is it get over it, dude? Okay, that was, that was like a long time ago. But wait a minute. This woman right here said that when she was young, she saw her father's father. Okay, so this could have been like 90 years ago. A hundred years ago, she said she saw her father's father, how he would gather some dogs and he would literally go hunting for so-called Negroes. Okay. You know, she also said that, uh, you know, if, if anybody that even looked like a black person showed up to her village at night you know more than likely he wouldn't he he would go missing okay we're talking about a so-called negro who could have possibly been a father of four different children you know driving us having to drive a semi truck you know just to get by and he goes to make a delivery at night and he comes up missing because he gets kidnapped by a, a bunch of white folks, you know. And therefore, he ends up becoming another victim of getting lynched or, or, or tortured or, or, be, or being mauled to death by dogs. A so-called Negro who could possibly have a children of four. But then you got these fucking Christians who want these goddamn Edomites to make it. Are you out of your goddamn mind? So now the father, so, so now the father's children is going to be sitting at home waiting for their daddy to come home. Probably sitting there for days. Wife sitting at home. Waiting for her husband to come home. Waiting for days. And they don't even hear from him. Because this man's been kidnapped and murdered because of his own skin color. And you Edomites, you got a lot to pay for. Okay, now in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and I believe the 67th verse, the Lord said that our people will have none assurance of their life. 
A matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah real quick. The 47th chapter, as you see right here in the time, it's 547. But we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 47. And I'll just start at verse 1. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 6. It says, I was wroth with my people. Yeah, the Lord was angry with us because of what our people did to his son 2,000 years ago. Well, 2,000 plus years ago. Okay, the Lord was also wroth with us because we turned our backs on him. You know, we wanted to, you know, forsake our heritage that was given us. And, and, and take on the, the, the customs of other nations. You know, we were living like heathens. And this was during the Dark Ages. Okay? So we turned our back on the Lord, and the Lord was wrath with us. So he allowed these Edomites to do what they did to us. You see? It says, I was wrath with my people... I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Right, because in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the Lord said that ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond man and bond woman. I believe that's Isaiah, the uh, 68th chapter, okay? No, that's Isaiah, the 28th chapter, the 68th verse. Okay, the Lord said that we will, we will be sold unto our enemies for bondman and bondwoman. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Okay, it says... Thou didst show them no mercy. So these devils did not show us any mercy when 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 they was allowed to just go around and kidnap Israelites and, and, and kill them. Okay. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Okay, a hey, the time is coming where the Lord is going to reverse the curses and all the curses that the Israelites are currently under. Okay, these heathen nations are going to be, they're going to be under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. The Lord said that he will put all, all these curses upon our enemies and, and them that hate us. Okay. And what you niggas are going to understand is that these heathen nations, they hate you. You want to try to be all cool with Ishmael and Elam and the Africans and, you know, the Chinese and Japanese people, the Hawaiians, you know, okay, but it's like, where was they at when, when we was in captivity? I'll tell you, I'll tell you where they was at, okay, they was celebrating, they was celebrating our downfall. Okay, they was literally celebrating our, our, our downfall. They was glad when we went into captivity. And you think the heathen nations are going to receive salvation? I don't think so. It says, Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke okay now this is going into after the Edomites served their thousand years of captivity in the kingdom of heaven okay 
this is the book of Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10 it says for thy violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever so they're going to be cut off talking about the nation of Edom here they're going to be cut off Okay. They're going to be cut off from the earth. And the whole nation of Edom is going to be exterminated from off the face of the earth after they served their, their thousand years of slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Okay, Lamentations chapter 4 verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup, the cup represents what? Captivity. Okay, it represents all of the torment that we had to endure while we was in slavery. And all the torment that we're going to have to endure during Jacob's trouble. The cup also shall be passed through unto thee. Okay? So this cup, which represents captivity, is going to be passed unto Edom. Thou shalt be drunken. So you're going to, you, you Edomites, you're going to drink of, of, of the cup of slavery. And shall make thyself naked. Colossians chapter 3 verse 25 it says but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done and there is no respect of persons okay so whatever wrong you do it's going to come back on you and the Lord is not a respecter of persons Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Okay? And, and, and who troubled us during the time of slavery? Who troubled us during the 1800s? Because I'm pretty sure she said that if she saw her grandfather doing this, this must have been going on in the 1800s. The late 1800s. Now I don't know how old she is. But. She said she saw. She used to see her father doing this. Her, her, her grandfather. So this could have been in the early 1900s. You see. So, hey man, you 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 Edomites, you got hell to pay. And even then, during the time of, of Jacob's trouble, we're going to be troubled. Okay. Seeing that it is a righteous thing with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and even during Jacob's trouble, we're going to be greatly troubled. Verse 7. It says. And to you who are troubled. Rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shall be revealed from heaven. With his mighty angels. So. 
So with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.